It has been a little over a day since the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, the landmark ruling in 1973 that guaranteed the constitutional right to an abortion in the United States. Our Bruce Harrison filed Wisconsin Democrats vowing to fight back and Republicans vowing the same to fight on. The Supreme Court decision and now how to regulate abortion in the state is certainly becoming a major point of debate ahead of key elections this fall. Women across Wisconsin are now less free than they were just two days ago. State Attorney General Josh Call on stage at the Wisconsin Democratic Convention in La Crosse. The Wisconsin Department of Justice will not use any resources to investigate or prosecute cases under our backwards 19th century abortion ban. Crimes, he says, such as homicide or sexual assault. Governor Tony Evers was blunt. I have seven grandkids that are girls or young women. Yesterday, they were made second-class citizens. That's bullshit. Evers also says he'll offer doctors clemency if they're prosecuted under the 19th century law. Back here in Milwaukee... And isn't it a blessing that we celebrate the scourge of abortion ending in our country? Prominent Republicans building support ahead of crucial elections in August and November. I ask us to all be together right now to wrap our arms around the unborn but also their moms, who in many cases are in crisis. That's what they are doing in this country. Senator Ron Johnson, running for a third term, did not comment on Roe during his appearance at Saturday's conservative summit. We don't have enough baby formula to feed our infants here in America in the year 2022. That's what Democrats, that's what they are doing in this country. We heard from the state on prosecution well, We've also heard from Milwaukee County District Attorney John Chisholm, who also says he won't prosecute violators of the 1849 law. Back to you.